today, very excited to look at the very popular www.doll. There's no dot, it's just, uh, just doll. Let me open this thing up and we'll put it in the clamper and see how it goes. It's interesting that there's like no branding on it really. And then it just is like WW doll. And there's all sorts of packaging for this product, by the way, it's all over the place. I like the bag, open it up. Looks like there's maybe packs of five in here. That's pretty cool. Hey buddy. That's nice, nice, nice. Okay, ooh. Definitely hand packed. You can tell just by the way it is. These are black. We're looking at the black masks. All right, let's put it in our little clampy device. Again, broken record, but this is not how NIOSH is going to do this. It's okay. We're getting roughly the same results. Um, just doing it slightly different. We have a little custom setup here that allows us to uh, do things a little bit faster. Letting that rip. Okay, let's talk about WW Doll. So it's interesting about WW Doll. It's like one of the most um, popular masks that you're gonna find. If you search for it, you're gonna see Amazon. You're gonna see uh, NBC News, Sears.com, uh, CDC, five highly rated KN95s, FDA authorized KN95s, not a thing. Uh, the seven best KN95 masks from the FDA's e EAU, which it was on that list. Uh, so you're gonna see a lot of that. One interesting thing is to Google a, uh, a brand name and then click on news and see what happens. Uh, Market Watch, six doctors share which face masks they wear to protect themselves from COVID-19. They have a lot of marketing out there. So it's crazy that I haven't done this one already. Um, you got a bunch of different colors. We obviously bought the black here and it basically did, this is a computer rendering picture of the thing, but it basically is the same. Now they are making claims 95%, but just saying KN95 is actually making a claim because the KN95 standard is a lot like the N95 standard. It's just um, that manufacturers are the ones that have to do all the testing. It resists droplets. Um, five layer filtering, adjustable nose clip, subject to actual product. What does that mean? So uh, I'm taking a look at this. I like it's a decent construction. Like it's pretty good. Uh, I'm, I'm not mad about it. Um, you can actually, one thing that I, I'll, I'll point out here, you'll see that uh, it says KN95 GB2626-2019. If the mask, the KN95 doesn't say that, it is not a KN95 mask. So it's good that they're saying that, but it doesn't say anything else. Part of the KN95 standard is that you have to put the manufacturer <coughs> name on the mask and the model number. It's not on here. What does that mean? It means it's not actually a KN95. Ooh, they're not even following the standard. Now, typically when someone isn't bothering to read the standard, they're probably not doing all of the other tests, which there are about five tests that you have to do. Um, and so I worry that they didn't do those other tests. We'll see what the uh, results here in terms of filtration, but um, this is not actually a KN95 mask. So I'm gonna have to like dig them. All right, let's check the ear loops out. I'm not pulling too hard, but that's pretty good. Why does that happen? Why? Why? Every time. It's like, it's like I say to the gods, that's pretty good. And then the gods are like, ha ha, Lloyd, broke. Yeah, that, that's not the best. I, I've, I've seen, I've seen better. And you know, not for nothing, but I like to have the full black. Oh, just kind of nice, like a nice little thing. I guess this tells you what side to do, but it just like, when you see the edge of it when I'm wearing this thing, you know? All right, last thing. Speaking of wearing, let's put this thing on. Oh, it looks pretty good, though, huh? It looks svelte, huh? I still don't like the... I don't like the duck situation. It's just not my style. Great fit, though, to be honest. Got to give them the fit. Ear loops are gorgeous. Uh, they feel pretty good. It's a good, good, solid fit. Uh, ooh. This smells like a high-end mall. 
like in Vegas, you know, uh, next to the Aria where you walk in, it has that kind of like fresh, like definitely like, it's like a hint of like plastics, you know, like there's like stuff being wrapped in here, um, but not terrible. All right, let's check the results. Oh, nice. Okay, that makes sense. 99.55, no longer on the EAU, the emergency use list from the FDA. It is not an FDA approved mask, not a thing, not a, there's no mask that's FDA approved. Um, so if anybody says that, look out. But it is a good mask, like it's good. I actually, and that jives because if you look at like, uh, NIOSH actually did a, a test as well of this mask. Uh, and they came to similar results. Look at this, 99, 99, 99. Not a bad mask. Not EAU, but not a bad mask. If I was gonna choose a Can95 that was made in China, which most are, I'd probably choose this mask. It's not bad. Good price, good fit, good pull. Um, all right. Thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate you. A little rusty. Uh, my, 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 my screens are all messed up. I'll get with it, though. Stick with me. Don't worry. Next time, I will... The next four or five times, I'll, I'll, I'll have the cameras down, don't worry. Thanks very much, and I will catch you on that next test.